Hi all, Dave here from RackNerd and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Cloudron. Now Cloudron is a self-hosted app installer and manager. So as you can see under here, there are um, a lot of um, apps you can install on your virtual machine and they make it super easy for you. So there are a few caveats with this, um, with the free plan you only are allowed to install two apps on your server however if you want to pay a monthly fee you can get it as low as $15 a month so we'll head over to our VPS and we'll get this installed all right so we'll load up our terminal window and we'll log into our VPS now once logged in we'll head over to our github page and as you can see we've got a cloud run auto install so we'll click on that and we'll click on the install.sh and we'll click the raw tab and copy this file. We'll type wget in our terminal window and paste that in and save it. And now we'll just run the install bash install.sh and this will go off and update the system. We're on Ubuntu 2004. This will take some time so just be patient and then once it's installed it will give us a web address very shortly there's the web address so we'll copy this link and we'll restart the virtual machine now we've just opened up the web browser and we've pasted the link in and we're presented with this page so it's asking to enter our domain so we're going to go racknerddemo.com and then for the DNS provider we're going to go no op only for development and hit next now it's going to ask you to put your name in and an email address, so we'll do that. And it's going to ask for a username, so we'll put in a username and a password. And we'll create the admin. And we'll proceed to the dashboard. And here we are. We've got no apps installed yet, so we can go up to the app store here. And we need to sign up for a Cloud Run account, so we'll do that. We'll put in our email address and our password and our intended use. So we'll just do personal use here and we'll accept the conditions and create an account. And here are all the apps that you can install. As you can see, there's quite a few apps that you can choose from. So we'll just find one here and we'll, we'll try and install the Surfer um, file browser app so we'll go install all right so we're going to put files as our location so files.racknerddemo.com now it will install now just to add you need to create an a record for this which we've already done um, previously so now it's installed we can click on the file manager icon up there and as you can see it's all installed and you can start uploading files now if we head back to the App Store, we can install something else. Um, let's go up to the categories here and we'll go down to web hosting. So I can see here we've got Minio, which is a great application. Allows you to run S3 buckets, so let's install that. Seems pretty good. We'll put s3.racknerdemo.com. Once again, you need to create this A record in your DNS. Now once it's installed, we can click on it and then we can click config and then click the s3.racknerddemo.com it's got some default username and passwords you can change this by clicking guide and it will show you how to change the username and password but for this demo we're not going to do that so we'll head back we'll click open and we'll paste the default username and the default password and enter so as you can see we're now in Minio browser and we can start creating s3 buckets so there you have it, for $15 a month you can get unlimited apps, or if you're happy with just two, you can do that too. So if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.